are fueling the Ute Park fire in northern New Mexico. Since Thursday, more than 30,000 acres have burned. Oh my God. What are we doing? It's so hot. 250 miles west near Durango, Colorado, the so called 416 fire has consumed over 2,000 acres in the San Juan National Forest and is threatening nearly 500 homes. Oh, With wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, and precipitation rates well above two and a half inches per hour, and hail indicated being about two and a half inches wide. But right. these are, and they were lemon size. Residents in Roundup busy picking up shards of glass, boarding up windows, and assessing the damage done from what some say is the biggest storm they've ever seen come through the city. This is the moment a police vehicle was engulfed in an ash cloud following a volcanic eruption. It happened in Central America after Guatemala's volcano of fire erupted, killing many in its path. Fleeing for their lives, many on foot. Residents living near Guatemala's volcano of fire say they were caught off guard. Emergency workers face a roadblock of steaming lava and debris. Rescuers worked into the night, recovering some people with severe injuries and a number of bodies of those who were not able to outrun the deadly eruption. With daylight, they carefully sift through steaming debris, hoping to recover the bodies of some of those who did not escape. was so bad it was like riding a roller coaster well the american airlines flight 1787 took off from the airport here just before seven last night and encountered those severe storms the hell was pounding on the aircraft it badly damaged the nose of the plane and windshield Maybe June, but winter is holding on on Mount Washington. It snowed about in half an inch yesterday, beating the snow record for the entire month of May this year. Take a look at this video. This was sent to us by a viewer. This is that hailstorm that did all this damage around two o'clock this morning. You can see the size of that hail. And so far, we've counted about a dozen cars with damaged windshields and back windows.
Kilauea's month-long eruption has thankfully cost no human lives, but it has inflicted an abundance of misery. Hundreds of homes have been destroyed by the unstoppable flow of molten rock. The lava pouring into the sea sends up huge clouds of steam mixed with toxic gases. In addition to property damage, the eruption has severed highways, knocked out power and telephone services, and shut down a geothermal plant that normally provides about a quarter of the island's power. It's just 11 days until the official start of summer, but things aren't very warm. Instead, snow is falling. Yes, so the valley bottoms got quite a bit of rain. We saw about 10 to 20 millimeters of rain uh, throughout the Okanagan Valley, and that fell as snow above about 1,400 meters. So ski resorts like Big White had about 14 centimeters, and Silver Stars had uh, 22 centimeters so far. Well, it's a beautiful June 11th up here at Showdown, Montana.
incessant rains in India's northeastern Manipur province on Thursday created a flood-like situation and threw normal life out of care, displacing over 100 residents in the area. The torrential rain in the last two days led to searching of local water bodies, with water making its way among the houses and on the roads. of hailstones, some the size of softballs, pounding neighborhoods all across the state. These pictures show just how big the hail was in Frederick tonight, just east of Boulder. National Weather Service says although there were abnormally dry conditions, it didn't stop the flash flooding. In Port Arthur, roads were shut down and the rapid downpour left several neighborhoods underwater. First responders in Corpus Christi waded through waist deep water last night to help stranded drivers. I cannot even believe this right now. Лежат 
на полу подвесной конструкции, которая может в любой момент сорваться с высоты 11 этажа. В эти сутки с разгулом стихии столкнулись во многих российских регионах. Потом. О, в Приморье мощный сель вырвал деревья с корнем и словно щепки уносил их вниз по склону. Дорога на село Андреевка заблокирована. Ой, нас чуть не смело, тачка, все, это жесть. А жителям Алтая вообще удалось запечатлеть... Ini mah, tiga hari lagi. 